Repurposing video content for all of my social channels is my number one strategy that allows me to create more content in less time. As a YouTube coach and strategist, I'm always on the hunt for a great tool that allows me to do this quickly and easily and also allows me to keep all of my content in one place because I really don't have time to be switching platforms constantly to try to schedule out all of my content each week. That's why Planoly's new multi-channel workspace is a game changer. It allows me to not only plan on my Instagram content, which is what it's always been known for, but its newest features also allow me to schedule and auto post my YouTube videos as well. Plus, I can easily repurpose that content across all of my social channels like Pinterest, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and more. This means less time trying to post content to all my different social platforms and more time creating content for you. So I'd love to know which social media scheduler do you currently use? Let me know in the comments below. But I wanna show you exactly how to start using these new features on Planoly. So let's jump over into my computer and show you how to get your account started. All right, let's walk through how to get your multi-channel workspace set up. So first you're gonna to need to create an account within Planoly. So I'm on here, let's check out the different pricing options available. So if I come over to pricing here, there's the starter, the growth and the professional. So if you're just managing one social set, so you only have one Instagram account, one TikTok account, one Facebook account and so on, then the starter account may be perfectly good for you. If you have a team and you're man managing multiple different accounts, then you might wanna go to the growth or the professional. So let's log in and we can walk through how I set this all up together. If you wanna get started with Planoly, you can click the link below this video and use the code MELISSA30 for 30% off all annual subscriptions. So let's log in here. Perfect. So once you've created your account, you're going to come to a screen that looks something like this. So this is a brand new account that I've created just to demonstrate the different features within Planoly. So if you come up to the top here where it says Wanderman Creative, I've created a multi-channel workspace already, but you can add another multi-channel workspace here as well. But since I've already created this workspace, it's already set up and ready to go. Now all I have to do is link my different social media accounts. So within a multi-channel workspace on Planoly, you can attach your YouTube, your TikTok, your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. So this is amazing for repurposing because it keeps everything all in one place. So I'm going to just hook up my YouTube account so I can show you how to do this. So it's gonna give you some prompts and you just click YouTube at the bottom here. It'll ask you to sign into your Google account and then it's gonna ask you if you want to allow it access and you just say allow. Perfect, so now my YouTube channel is all linked to the top here, you can see that. So next I'm going to connect my TikTok account. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. All right, so now I got my YouTube, my TikTok, and I'm also going to do my Instagram because I like to repurpose my content there as well. And finally, I'm going to do my Facebook. So in my business and what I teach all of my clients to do when it comes to their content is to start with YouTube first. Once you created your YouTube video first or your large pillar piece of content first, you can then repurpose that larger piece of content into smaller pieces that go out across your social channels. So what I've done is I've already posted my long form YouTube video onto my YouTube channel using YouTube Creator Studio. And now what I wanna do is repurpose and schedule out all of the smaller pieces to all of my other social media channels. And that's what I use Planoly for. Let's walk through exactly how I use Planoly's features to upload all of my repurposed content across my social channels. Okay, so now that we have all of our different accounts attached at the top here, what we can do is we can start repurposing our content. So if we come over into the left-hand side where it says new post, we can click that and it's gonna bring up a new window for us. And here is where we can start adding the different content that we want across all of the different channels. So like I mentioned previously, I already have posted my long form YouTube video to YouTube itself using Creator Studio. And now what I wanna do is post all of the repurposed content across all of my social channels. And that's what I use Planoly for. And so at the top here, you can select which channels you want to be posting on. So. What I'm gonna be posting is a vertical short form video from that long form YouTube video. So I'm gonna be posting on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube because all of those platforms can support short form content. So from here, I wanna come down and I wanna select what type of content I'm gonna be posting on each of these platforms. So if you see TikTok, there's only one type of content that goes on TikTok, which is short form vertical, so that's fine. 
on Instagram here, you'll see that there's three different options when I hover beside the drop down here. So there's a grid post, a reel, and a story. So I'm going to be posting a reel. So I'm going to click that. Same thing for Facebook. I'm going to be posting a reel. And then for YouTube, I'm going to be posting a short. So that all looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is actually select the file. Let's talk about YouTube first. I'm going to select a file and you can actually pick where you want to upload that file from. So either your computer, Dropbox, or Google Drive. I'm just going to pick my computer and grab that file. Awesome. So now that I've uploaded that file, you'll see that it uploaded it to all of the other platforms as well. And that's because it's all going to be the same type of content, right? It's all going to be that vertical short form content, which is great. The other thing you can do here is down at the bottom, there's this little eye. So if you want to preview your video and make sure that it sounds good and you have the right one, you can just hit that little eye and see the preview there. You can also download the video as well. You can delete it. And then this little guy here is a swap. So you can actually swap the video if you accidentally picked the wrong one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my title and my caption for my YouTube short. So now I'm just going to grab the caption for it. Perfect. So I have my caption, I have a link to the full video here, and then I also have some hashtags. So that's just some best practices when it comes to repurposing shorts from your long form content. The next couple options when it comes to YouTube shorts is you can actually notify your subscribers. So I'm going to turn that on and then under visibility, you can pick public unlisted and private. So I'm going to pick public and then you also can add a sound URL if you want to. I personally don't add a sound URL when I'm repurposing content because I add music and anything that I need in editing, but that is a really cool option that Planoly gives you if you wanted to add a sound URL to your clip. The other thing you can do is you can actually have a reminder notification. So when you download the mobile app of Planoly onto your mobile device, you can actually have it remind you that this post needs to go out. So you can ha have a reminder notification turned on here and select it so that your phone gets notified and then you can manually publish it yourself on your phone, or you can have, click this little thing here and it'll auto post for you, which I'm going to turn on. Next, we can do the same thing with a Facebook reel. So the video looks great. I'm just gonna post my caption in there. And then the same thing, we can have a reminder notification and select the date. So I'm gonna say that I wanna be rec reminded on the 24th at 12 p.m. Perfect, so now we just come up to Instagram, same thing. We're going to post the caption in here. We can set a reminder notification for the 24th at 12 p.m. And you can also add a sound URL to your Instagram reel if you want it as well. And then finally, TikTok. So for TikTok, I'm going to add my caption in here and I always like to add hashtags as well. So I'm gonna add those in there. So you can actually toggle auto posting on and off as well. So you can send it or select a reminder notification or you can do auto po post, which I'm going to leave auto post turned on as well. Okay, so there you go. You have everything set up, ready to go out to all these different platforms. Now, a couple other things you can do within this window is at the top right-hand corner here, there's this little eye. So if you wanna see what your content is going to look like on each of these platforms, you can click this little eye and then you can just click on the platform. So here's what it's gonna look like on TikTok. Here's what it's gonna look like on Instagram. Here's what it's gonna look like on Facebook Reels. And then here's what it's gonna look like on YouTube Shorts. So this preview window is really great because it allows you to make sure that your video content isn't being cut off by any of the little pieces or text that's on all of the screens on all the different platforms. So finally, once everything is ready to go, you have two options for publishing. You can either save as a draft, which if I save as a draft here, it adds it to the bin over on the side here. But if I click back into it and I wanna actually schedule it out, then you would wanna actually pick a date. So I'm gonna pick the 24th here and I'm gonna say, yeah, 12.06 p.m. is great. And I am going to say schedule. So now that I actually hit schedule, you'll see that it was added to the calendar down here at 12.06 p.m. and we are all done repurposing our content. But now that we have our repurposed videos scheduled, let's go through a couple other features that I love on Planoly. So the first one is that it shows you the calendar view here, as you can see. And you're gonna see that it has all these different holidays on the calendar. So if you come up to settings at the top right here and go to social events, you can actually toggle this on and off if you find that distracting. So I can toggle them all off, as you can see. And if you hit save, 
then all of them will be gone if you find that distracting at all. Or you can toggle just some of them on. So sometimes what I like to do is I like to leave the entertainment, the holidays, and the other on there and then leave everything else blank. And then that just tells me any international hashtag days or any actual holidays that I would need to be aware of without it cluttering up my calendar view. The second really unique feature is the ideas manager feature. And this allows you to keep track of all the new trends and inspiration you find on a daily basis. So if we come over into create and then we click on ideas, this is the feature that I'm talking about. So it actually allows you to collect ideas as you're looking online. This really makes Planoly act as more than just a scheduler, but really as a content planner as well. So you can keep all your ideas in one centralized place inside the platform. You can also include notes on these ideas so that you don't forget what you want to do with the idea. So if we click on the top here and say new idea, it's going to give you all these different options. So it can be a note, an image, a video, or a URL, and you can also organize them by folders, which is amazing if you use content pillars inside of your business because you can organize your content that way, or you can organize your content by different platforms. So you could say TikTok ideas, Instagram reel ideas, YouTube shorts ideas, and so on. Like I said, this tool is amazing when it comes to becoming an actual content planner because you can keep all of your ideas in one centralized place. So I could say new idea URL and actually paste a link straight from TikTok and then add any notes that I want to about this URL to make sure that I remember that I want to create a piece of content around this trending sound or this idea. So I could say here, marketing X things people need to stop doing right? And then I could say create idea and that's actually going to save it here. And so that I'm creating a content bank of ideas for myself that the next time I need to come in and plan the next months of content, all I have to do is come into my idea section and grab all of the different ideas to create off of. The last thing I really love about this feature is the ability to send TikTok videos and sounds straight to your ideas section in Planoly from inside the TikTok app. All right, there you go. That's how I use Planoly's multi-channel workspace to auto post my YouTube videos and schedule out all of my repurposed content. Now I would love to know, after watching this walkthrough, are you ready to try out Planoly for yourself? If so, make sure to click the link below this video and use the coupon code MELISSA30 for 30% off all annual subscriptions of Planoly. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and share this video to your social media platforms. We'll catch you next week. Bye.